Hello, in this tutorial, we'll do the necessary settings in LML Linux uh, Music Studio. So we go here, open the settings. This we keep same here. I have used the uh, fluid sin sound font which you can download from the link which I am going to provide you this keep it same 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 then you can click OK and exit LN LMMS Now for the link, you can use this link to download the SF2 files. When you download the SF2 file, I'll show you. You'll have to place the here in Lin Linux Music Studio here you will have to place that folder in Linux Multimedia Studio then you can exit Let's go back to Linux Multimedia Studio. So now it is loaded into that LN, uh, sorry, LMMS Pro uh, Studio. So let's see what we can do with the sound font file. Let's import a MIDI song. I already have some MIDI songs on my computer. We take the La Bamba. It is loaded in the music studio. Now let's play this file. Here you can see that instead of drums, piano sound is played. Now that is the problem with SF2 player. It cannot sort the drum file. So we'll have to check where which section the drum file is played. So let's check from bottom. Now it is here it is trombone. So if I try to replace it with drum file, let's check if it plays. luck so we'll have to bring back again to trombone so this way you'll have to check all the tracks now I know where the drum file is to be played in the second track because I have already checked the this MIDI song. So you'll have to replace this stereo grand piano with the drum track. So this is how we do it. We select the standard. OK. Close it. Now let's see whether we can play that song. So now it is playing very well. So this is how we'll have to check the tracks and then replace that default track with the drum part. 
so that is the thing you will have to do with the sf2 files now we can uh, use the sf2 player in many ways now if you want the drum track to be saved if you want this uh, drums to play in your next project then you can do one thing you can delete all the other tracks excluding the drum track so we now you can save this drum track come here and you can save it here so next time you open the project you can use uh, this uh, save drum pattern so this is how we can use the uh, sf2 files to play the midi song then save the drum patterns and many more i'll show you in uh, the next tutorial so for time being thank you for watching my tutorial